Okay, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another new vlog. I just wanted to hop on at the beginning of this video because it kind of just randomly starts and I wanted to make sure to say hello everyone. So we are back at school and yesterday and today I just vlogged and showed you guys um, Elizabeth and I settling back in school, unpacking and getting ready for it this semester. So now it's going to go into yesterday, which was Sunday. And I was just helping Elizabeth move back into her dorm. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and be sure to subscribe and I'm so excited for a lot more vlogs to come. Okay, so here is an overview of Elizabeth's dorm room. I have a full dorm tour up on her channel from the beginning of the year, but Elizabeth's um, roommate from last semester transferred, so she now has a single, um, and she has this whole side of the room. So we obviously wanted to like decorate it and furnish it because it would just feel very cold on this side. Um, so we got the same exact bedding as she has over here. I'm just gonna move the coat. So this is all like the same basically. And this is not like completely organized yet. So um, this whole side of her room is exactly the same with the two prints, which are original prints for me. And then the tennis racket, you know, the wallpaper, this light blue bedding. And then over here, we just got the same light blue bedding. And then we have this huge print that she actually was able to hang last night with um, one of her friends on the floor, which we took this picture and then just enlarged it and then purchased the frames on Amazon and hung that up. And I like that she, she was, I think I had to put it over here, but I like this right here because she has like the wallpaper wall. And so this is kind of like offsetting it. Also, I'm vlogging on a new camera, so if it's a little dark, I apologize. Okay, and then we still have to hang these prints. I'm gonna probably help her do this after we get lunch, um, but these are just the same original prints that we took, and then the frames are these adorable bamboo frames. Most of them are from Amazon. They're kind of like, they're different versions as you can see, and then I think for a few of them, I think like for these, we actually had to buy a mat for it to make sure that um, they all kind of look the same, but like look how adorable this is. And like this actually has a stand, so you could put it on a desk if you wanted. So I will link all of these frames, and then obviously all the prints you can purchase on my website, emilyonbows.com. Um, so she set up this side of the bed. You can kind of see more as a day bed. Again, I'll show you this all done, but I like kind of popping it at the process. So she's gonna make this more of a day bed. We brought like this big long fuzzy pillow. I really like these, the circular pillow and super cute and then she has another blanket which is from ugg she has this new uh full-length mirror because her roommate from last time had the full-length mirror and i think this detailing is so cute so that's propped up in this corner she still has the same um you know obviously the two closets oh i think this is her oh boy. hello oh. she was just Welcome. getting ready so she still has her two closets, and then we're gonna put the other curtain back up here, but it's nice now because she can organize it. She doesn't have to like shove. Is this focusing? She doesn't have to shove all of her clothes in here. So this closet's obviously gonna be all of her coats and jackets, and she put hats, scarves, purses, all up there. And then she still has like her other closet right here with the regular clothes. And she also put this adorable navy furry rug to warm it up a little bit. Um, obviously wiped everything down, was cleaning things. Oh my gosh, this was just my con contribution when I just came in here. We're putting the um, Ralph's mug right underneath her Keurig, which is super cute. So this is the little coffee area, and I think we're going to get some, like fruit to put in this basket this is all garbage right here so we're gonna take that out those are my boots um and those, th are, my jeans. those are my jeans she has her bulletin board and then the hello lovely sign okay and then since she now has an extra desk we decided to obviously do something with it so this is going to be honestly probably like a vanity or just another workspace so above the desk she was able to hang up three retro badminton rackets which we originally sold in the fall we might be bringing these back and those are just with some um, command hooks so she put those above this desk and then this new lamp is from target we still need to plug that in my mom and i got it for her and then she has this adorable orchid which is from amazon so cute and then this rattan elephant i showed a lot of these things over on my instagram but i'm excited to show you guys here this rattan elephant we actually got when we were in palm beach and then i just opened it and she put her kleenex in there which i think is so cute and then just another gold mirror and some more um this dish which i think is from clarabella studio with cheetah on it for her jewelry so i'm really vibing with this whole corner it just like brightens it all up and makes the space look super cute and then ties in 
that tennis racket. So again, more things to come. It's not all done yet. We'll show you the final product, but this is just a really fun decorating project. We are gonna go to breakfast and- Should I put my hair in a clip? Should I put it in a ponytail? Uh, maybe a clip would be nice. I have a, I have your um nice clip. Okay, so this is our first stop. We just came to Cofenia and we got some everything bagels and cappuccinos, oat milk cappuccinos. I'm here with Elizabeth. Good morning, everyone. Oh wait, this one this one looks like oat milk, doesn't it? They look exactly the same. No, that one looks darker. <laughs> try it, try it. Okay. See if we can figure maybe it out. Both this is not focusing. Okay. <laughs> I think this one's oat. Wait, but here, you try that and then I'll try yours. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This one's regular. That's oat. This is oat. That one tastes better. Cheers. We are here at the grocery store. We're getting all of the accoutrements for homemade chicken noodle soup tonight. Hi, Beth. And then just like a bunch of other kitchen stuff. Okay, we are now at TJ Maxx. I need more hangers. And Elizabeth is looking for, why is this not person not stopping? Elizabeth's gonna look for like a little tray. All right, so this might be a little dark, but we are filming on a new camera, so I will adjust settings as we go. But we've already had, let's just back it up a little bit. Um, we've already had such a fun day. So we got here in Oxford yesterday for our second semester, and um, Elizabeth helped carry all my stuff up, and then we thought that she wasn't gonna be able to get into her dorms until this morning at nine, but you were able to yeah, get into your dorm. I got in early. Last night. So then we went to dinner with your friend and we went to Cerezo, which was nice. And then I just unpacked the rest of the night and you unpacked the rest yeah, of the night as well. Yeah, late into the evening. Late into the evening. And then this morning I went and got you and- I had a fire drill this morning. Drill this so morning. I got up, I everyone was moving in, so it was kind of loud in the dorms, but then I unpacked all my clothes because I was unpacking my bedding and whatnot. Right. So I unpacked all my clothes and then I had a fire drill. So then I exited the building in my roller rabbit pajamas, which is- Which is then when I pulled up because yeah. I was coming to get her because we were gonna go get something to eat. Then we went to Cofenia, we just finished at Kroger and TJ Maxx, and now we're getting our afternoon coffee, and then the plan is we're gonna go back to Elizabeth's dorm, and I'm gonna help her hang some picture frames and take the food in. Yeah, and then we're making chicken noodle soup tonight. I don't think I'm gonna be making it with you. Okay. I, I have plans to get to Okay, so bowl. I'm gonna be making chicken noodle soup, <laughs> but I'm gonna make it with my roommate, so we're gonna do it together, Yeah, that'll be fun. fun. Um, so yeah, it's just like a catch-up day. I'll show you guys my outfit later, but I'm wearing this new jacket from J. Crew, which is very cute. The weather is so bipolar today. We woke up and it was snowing and cold, and then it was sunny, and then we left after we got food, and it started raining, and now it's cloudy. So it's like, make like, up your mind. Pick a lane. Pick a lane. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get our coffee and then just keep organizing and decorating for the rest of the day. And then what time's your first class tomorrow? 11.40. Okay, so, and I only have two classes tomorrow. 11.40 and I think it's like three. Okay, that's not bad. So, um, we will see you guys at Eva Storm. Oh my gosh, we need gas. Do you think I'll be able to make it? Okay, we're gonna go get our coffee. Okay, update on the room. We are back in Elizabeth's dorm and we carried in all of her groceries and then we just hung two prints above her bed and then she's gonna put out, we got more pillows at TJ Maxx, like fuzzy pillows, just to warm the space up a little bit and it's just darling. The whole area I'm obsessed with and it's really nice to hang out in here. So, this is what we hung right here. These are uh, my two original prints, which are available on my website, and this week we're doing free shipping. So, and that's on all of the Emily Ombo's merchandise products, but I know that, you know, everyone needs a little refresh right now in their bedroom. So this is what the prints look like, and then her bed's coming along. You can kind of see it a little bit better. So, just sitting here, I think I'm gonna go back to my dorm a little bit, and we'll do like a full, you can kind of, this is just- You just said I'll go back to my dorm. Oh, I mean my apartment. Um, but we got iced coffee. They were out of oat milk, so I got almond milk. And I was just saying to Elizabeth that I never have like Dunkin' at home, but then the moment I get back on campus, I like crave it and I really want it. So it tastes pretty good, but I just got a small because I can't stop shaking. Also, she's wearing this sweater. I have it in pink. I was posting about it a lot on my Instagram and she has it in like the mint color and we're obsessed with it. And I'm wearing the little cashmere sweater from J. Crew, mm -hmm. which is also quite lovely. So I had to cancel my workout with Brayden. I'm hanging pictures. Getting myself I'm situated. decorating. I'm I'm I'm, I'm decorating busy right now. So there's right. just no time to be sporty spice. I have exactly. a yoga mat. So I think so I'll, you could do like I'll a little, little workout bodies later in the in the room. And I'm supposed to go to church tonight with Gavin. That got canceled because he has frat stuff. So Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like I'll just be dining. Well, I have soup to make. <laughs> oh your roses, you have to put that in water. She got pink roses at Kroger yeah. as well. Um I which is great. I also have a rotisserie chicken in the car, so I feel like I should Probably get that back soon. Or just your chicken's perfectly fine to be in the car. 
Mm, like that's it. Do you, wait, what else do you have to do in here? Um, like, with my help. Oh, I need to hang my curtain rod. Okay. Should I stand on a chair or? Yeah, that might be necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. Look what I'm doing here. Let's look at this. Do you like the, I'm gonna cut those tags. I need to get rid of that. Yeah. Mm. Thoughts? I feel like, Are well this is getting blended in with the big. Totally. What, can you put more pillows in the in the corner? This is a day bed. Um, I also like Loki need a pillow for this. Yeah. Is that weird? Mm, blacks. I like seeing that blue. Yeah. Oh, look at this is a little monkey stuffed animal that the colony gave us as a little I present when we left. Post I do. Is that cute? Doesn't that just take you back? Okay, the autofocus is better on this camera when you get really when it really focuses. Do you see how much better that is? Yeah, you could tell. Okay. Boop. <laughs> Is that cute? I feel like I can't tell because I'm too close. Yeah, you have to back up. Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting there. I like how simple that looks. Um, I really love this area. Isn't this just so cute? And then obviously that's all of our stuff that will get moved around. Um, this is her bulletin board. I really like your bulletin board. Alyssa, where'd you get the don't stop, get it, get it thing? Oh, Fresh Sense. It's oh, fresh and then that's Fresh Sense. That's... Special delivery. This the this is not a Texas cute. Where's that from? Um, Mom wrote me that note. It's, oh. I think it's from the pretty paper. Shop. Where are these prints from? That is what I stole from the Carlisle. No way. And then look what I stole from... Well, I'm not, I didn't steal anything. No, it was in the <laughs> hotel room. Um, This is from the Mayflower, so for springtime... Wait, that's actually so cute. You have all of these pieces from where we've traveled oh and the map you yeah yeah this is marbella yeah from spain Colony. oh you have to put that up yeah and then where's this from i have my drawer stuck honey Heavens. which one where's the yay from um oh i bought that in a boutique in cincinnati that's cute and then that's close at her graduation i mean i have this whole full video up but like a few things have changed it's also good to see if you are new here and then we have all of her groceries right here just like, you know, easy things, snacks to grab when you're on the go, just so you're not panicked about food, because that's not, it's the last thing we should be worried about right here. Oh, you can see my cashmere sweater a little bit better. It kind of has like, just a subtle puff sleeve. We just love a subtle puff sleeve. <laughs> and then this is the sweater that Ebeth has on. Oh, we're putting this up now. Yeah. Do you need help? can't be talking all day. Oh my gosh, it's work. It's like definitely gonna fall. Mm. Why is this so short? How did the other one get up there? Wait, I'm taller. I can do this. Wait, but I need to re put it back in. Do you want the puff? No, I can't. Oh my god. Oh, ah! You're <laughs> gonna. <laughs> it makes me unconscious. <laughs> See, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> Someone texts me. Someone <laughs> leaves me? <laughs> Can you see what's going on here? We're trying to get this thing up. Oh. <laughs> Another text. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, well, here she is, folks. That looks good. I mean, it's like how it was before, but. It's a real woman for you. <laughs> yeah, that's that'll do it. Okay, well, I think this is gonna conclude the um, dorm segment as of right now because I gotta get that rotisserie chicken in the fridge. <laughs> um, I'm also parked illegally outside, so I gotta go change that. And I need to take care of some things at the apartment. Do you need anything else that we can do for you today? I don't believe so. You've, you've done enough. <laughs> Wreaking havoc. <laughs> no, you were very helpful. Okay, good. I mean, I was your chauffeur. Oh yeah, no, you're great. I would cool. be lost without you. All right, I'll see you at the apartment. <laughs> okay, so we just got back from the grocery store and um, we mostly just got ingredients for the chicken noodle soup tonight. So I'll probably have to like go back tomorrow and get some more stuff but it was really busy at Kroger. Um, so I got a full rotisserie chicken because that's what the recipe calls for. Yellow onions and we found them diced. This bread's actually less this, so I need to give her that. Cashews, some fruit just for breakfast. We got some chicken broth because that's what the recipe calls for. Baby spinach, which is gonna be for like eggs and breakfast. Um, some noodles, French bread, a lemon for the recipe, bay leaves recipe, parsley for the chicken noodle, carrots, and then garlic, cloves peeled already um and then i did get some um 
bananas and oranges as well. So I'm gonna put this all away and then we'll start cooking in a little bit. Okay, so we're in the kitchen right now and we're starting the homemade chicken noodle soup. Um, right now, first of all, this is the pot that I found at TJ Maxx. Look how cute she is. And just put two tablespoons of olive oil on low simmer. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to cover it, but I don't really think it should matter. But look how cute that is. It looks like this is from Sir La Tom. So we're doing that. And then I just diced up, I peeled and diced one cup, about one cup, that's less than a cup, whatever, of carrots. And then I lost my celery, it was in my car. <laughs> um, but then I had to go back down and get it. So this says like two stalks of celery, thinly sliced. So we're working on that. Um, and then we'll see what the next couple steps are, but I'll just like leave you guys here and throw it on a time lapse. Hmm. Okay, then it says that we need one cup of um, sweet, no, one cup of yellow onion peeled and diced. So it says like a medium onion, but we found it already diced, but I got two, which I definitely do not need. But I think I could just keep this for like eggs and stuff. So definitely buy it already diced. Um, and so I'm just gonna dump this in here so I know how to measure it. I'm just using bowls. It says cups. Actually, I should probably get a cup out. Okay, yeah, that's about the same thing. Two garlic cloves minced. So we got um, already peeled garlic cloves or garlic to make it easier so one two i'm just yeah i'm gonna chop 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 oh my eyes are watering okay all right well you know this is as minced as it's gonna get so then it says two bay leaves which we found fresh time we couldn't find at kroger so we're just skipping that and we're also just skipping oregano but i don't think it'll make that big of a difference okay things are getting serious <laughs> so i just finished cutting the chicken which this is that's the hardest part of this recipe i mean it's not really hard ladies we're gonna buy the rotisserie chicken you're not going to waste time making your own chicken i mean you could also let's just also have a conversation about how we're gonna utilize rotisserie chickens more because that's so easy to just buy and then keep for like easy dinners you can put it on top of salads i'm really into it so i basically just like ripped apart the rotisserie chicken and chopped up two cups of chicken like really small and put it like off to the side um so now we're going to start adding ingredients into the pot you're first going to take your cup of celery your cup of carrots your cup of diced yellow onion and you're going to put it in the stove for so it says carrot celery onion saute for about seven minutes and then you're going to add the garlic and saute for another one or two minutes okay i'm going to put you right here mother of god that's hot okay Okay, we're gonna add our vegetables into the pot. Oh my god. Ooh. Celery. Okay, we're gonna saute this for seven minutes. Okay, so we are sauteing the vegetables right now. We have like two more minutes, and then we are gonna add the garlic on top of this. And then that is for about another two minutes, and I'm just been stirring this all around. It smells really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. Smells delicious. Okay, so now our vegetables are sauteing. I just put the garlic cloves in. You basically have to saute it for about like eight minutes. And then we have to put in everything else. So we're taking our chicken broth. This is when that comes in. And I think you just dump. Okay, so we're just gonna throw that in. Oh, it calmed down. Did you hear that shift in noise? Oh my God, <laughs> there's chicken broth everywhere. Oh my God. Thank you. Here we are. Okay. Does it? I can't tell because no, I've been in here the whole time. Okay. So we just added. Oh, you're fine. I'll cut it out. Where are my bay leaves? I lost my bay leaves. Hello. Oh, oh. There they are. Okay. Two. It says two. Okay. So. Two bay leaves. Do you cut them? No. Oh, just like. No, no, no. Just I think. Them. I would just do what you were doing and kind of like shred it with your finger. Wait, that was a broken bay leaf. We need pretty bay leaves. <laughs> okay, bay leaf, plop it in. <laughs> I think it's a teaspoon of pepper. 
teaspoon. Yeah. That looks like a lot of pepper. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna set a timer. This part of the portion of the program takes about five minutes. <laughs> we will circle back. Is this even on? I think it just simmers really, really low. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I just added the egg noodles in and one pack is 12 ounces and that fits perfectly. So we're gonna let this simmer, boil, whatever the correct term is for about 10 minutes. Okay, we're about done. I added all the noodles and the parsley and then it's been cooking for like a while and I've just been stirring it about, but this smells amazing. I'm so proud of us. Yay. Okay, everyone, it is done. We finished the soup. I'm so proud of us. Oh my God, it's dripping on the floor. Um, but it tastes really good. And so I've just been letting it simmer right here, keep it, keeping it on the stove. All right, everyone has just gotten their cup of soup and some bread. We tasted it, we add a little bit, I added some more salt, but it's pretty good, I would say so. Um, so we're gonna literally eat, I'm eating this on the couch because that was quite, <laughs> quite the experience. Um, but overall, 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll leave the link to the um, recipe in the description box. If you guys want to try it. I mean, it's so simple. It's chicken noodle soup. And then we have our U-log on the screen. So we're just really hibernating over here. Okay, so we're kind of um, having a very interesting lunch. Um, Low-key, like partially eating like a child, but not really. So I made this sandwich with the French bread from last night. I toasted it, and then it's just turkey, um, cheese, mustard, and then I used half of an avocado that was already out. I don't know, it kind of looks good though. And then a bunch of celery from last night, and we have our hummus right here, and then some goldfish. So <laughs> this is our lunch. This is my first meal of the day, but I kind of skipped breakfast because I just had my coffee and now i'm starving so we're gonna eat this okay so let me set you guys down because i feel like we need to ch chat a little bit you're resting on a water bottle okay so today is monday and i showed you guys my coffee and my lunch you really haven't missed much today it's super like cold and snowy so i've really enjoyed just being in the apartment and working on stuff um i went through a ton of emails and then I went through a lot of my DMs this morning while I was just drinking my coffee and there are so many fun projects in the works. Sorry, the water bottle shaking. Going back and forth with a bunch of people and I'm really excited about what's to come for that. Um, and then I was filming some TikToks. The room is a wreck right now because I'm still organizing some stuff. And then I was like pulling things for outfits. So I think I'm gonna clean that up right now. But before we do that, I did kind of just wanna talk about my semester and what's going on and like what I'm gonna be doing this semester. So if you're new here, I'm a second semester senior. I go to Miami University and Elizabeth's a freshman and um, obviously lives in the dorm and I live in an apartment uptown with three other roommates. Um, I've been in the same apartment unit for two years, so that's just like a little background. So actually this semester I'm not really taking classes and I will explain what's going on. So I don't have like any, I don't have like a regular class schedule in the sense for last semester I had like 15 credit hours, you know, four classes a day that I would go on campus and like a normal person. So basically what I'm doing this semester and I wanted to explain it at the very beginning so you're not like, why aren't you going to class? Um, the school is letting me do two different things. And first semester I had a professor really kind of take me under his wing and allow me to do all this and bring this to my attention. So I didn't know that like any of these things could exist or that I could do any of this kind of stuff. But my major is called Emerging Technology Business and Design and that is through the College of Creative Arts. And then I have a minor in Entrepreneurship which is through the Business School. So through my major, I they have a program called the Digital Innovation Program and usually students go to either Cincinnati or Luxembourg for an entire semester and it's kind of like a work study program. So basically you will intern for a company um, the entire semester. So you work Monday through Thursday. So you work for the company Monday through Thursday, like a regular job, eight to five. And then on Fridays, there are like company visits or fun activities either in like that city. So if you were in Luxembourg, you'd probably be like, studying abroad um, and then in Cincinnati you're going to different companies or you're you'll go to like a Reds game or some interesting historical part of the city so you can get to know that area a little bit better so what the school is letting me do is instead of me working for a company Monday through Thursday I am the company so I get to work for myself and 
it counts for that way. Like I get credit for all of that. So that's one component of it. And there's a group, I think of about six kids who are in the digital innovation program with me. And they're like all working for companies and doing like the program normally. I'm just the only person who is working for myself as the, as the company. But on Fridays, I will go to get to go to these different companies, um, get to listen to different talks and network and meet different people, which is really cool. So I still get those benefits of it. And then we do have, I am part of a capstone that they put you in because I still needed like one capstone for my major to graduate. So to take care of that, I will be working on a capstone with the group in the digital innovation program to my understanding i'm not actually like going to that capstone class we just get work and then that group works on it remotely so that meets tuesdays tomorrow um i think it's six to eight every single week okay that's the one part and then the other part of it is i'm also through the entrepreneurship minor i am now part of the accelerator program it's called the red hawk ventures um, accelerator program and that I think is only with a, again a very small number of kids and we work with two professors one of them being the guy who helped me put this whole thing together like it was his idea we work the entire semester on our businesses that is on Mondays I don't have it this week it starts next week the first meeting is in person on campus I could think I think it's at the business school but normally we're gonna be in Cincinnati so then on Mondays I have the accelerator program and that's like either from 3 to 6 or 3 to 8 the thing about this is like all of this doesn't start until next week okay this is shaking I technically didn't even need to come for this week like I could have just continued to work remotely from home but obviously I wanted to drive back with Elizabeth and she is still like taking a full course load so that's kind of what I'm doing this semester um, and so I did kind of want to like sit down and hopefully that made sense basically the school in both my major and my minor is letting me work on my business full-time I gotta tell you guys I don't know how this happened again this was not my idea I didn't even know that this was like allowed to do I was allowed to do that I did an independent study my junior year that's a little bit more normal I've like heard of kids doing that if you have like an interest you can go and do like an independent study through your major or your minor I'm excited to just be able to have the time this semester to work on this also I filed for early alum for my sorority so that got approved so basically I just like decided to go early alum with my chapter because I'm doing this I need to focus on this I will be back and forth between Cincinnati and Oxford and um, I might also be traveling a little bit more this semester so Elizabeth will be going through recruitment starting Thursday I think that's like when recruitment kickoff is and then it's this entire weekend and then the following weekend so it's just two weekends I did want to clarify that I appreciate you listening to that ramble and again hopefully that made sense um so i think what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go work out because i'm feeling a little anxious also i'm not gonna i'm gonna try and not have coffee in the afternoon because i think that just like keeps me up too much unless i absolutely need it so i didn't do that today which is nice um i am gonna go work out but i don't think that that will keep me up necessarily i think the key thing for me is just going to bed early because i'm someone who like fully is dependent on sleep whether or not we're gonna have a good day and oftentimes I can't fall asleep here because the walls are so thin and like I feel like I can hear everything or we're just like up talking or I've had coffee too late in the day. So that's another adventure that you and I are going to get to go on together is making sure that I'm going to bed very early, like very early, like giving myself lots of time to decompress. So if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. My mom sent me this app called Calm that I'm going to try and we'll take it from there. Um, okay. I'm gonna change, well, I'm gonna clean first. It's not gonna take long. And then I'm gonna go, or should I? No, I should probably go work out now. I'm gonna go work out now. And then we'll get everything done. Okay, so I came over to Alyssa's room because I got a salad for dinner and then I just came over here to eat it because I wanted to hear about her first day of classes. And update on the room, it's looking very organized. Okay, it's just focusing. Look at her lovely day bed. This looks so good. And then the prints and her new mirror. She put some cute little notes right there. And then this is all nicely organized now. And she has her flowers, her coffee. Look at the little snowmen. That's, That's what's, I'm, I lose it with the snowmen. <laughs> and then she has a bunch of like fruit and avocados and stuff like that to just have little noshes. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is pretty much normal. Oh, she did move the elephant to the left side because the outlet for the lamp needs to go over here. 
Um, but it's like such a breath of fresh air walking in here. That's my food. I'm going to throw that away. So yeah, I think that's all I have for you tonight. I'm probably going to head back to the apartment and get to bed soon. It's 7.50, but you know, early. Yeah, start the process. Yeah. Yeah.